Alright, hello everybody, it's Jojo Bang here. This is a tutorial on motor swap Forza Horizon 3. Put any motor in any car. First thing you want to do is you want to get a notepad. You want to put this main ID, make ID, donor, engine ID. Secondly, you want to open up your game db.slt. Uh, the link will be in the description for this program. You want to get an open up and go to browse. And now you want to scroll down to engine slash or data slash engine. All right, so you're going to find your car that you want to put your motor swap in. So, for example, I'm going to do Honda. Fuck it, Honda. And we'll go ahead and do the NSX 92 version. So 412, you want to put as your ID. It's your main ID you need. So 412. Now follow me real quick because we're going to be doing this. So you want to go ahead and go down to data slash engine. So you want to pick the engine you want to put. So for example, I'm going to put the Koenigsegg. The 115. So the engine ID is 2316. So you want to go ahead and go this 2316. Uh, I do this all the time. You don't have to do this, but go ahead and go back to dengine, or data slash engine. And you want to find the Conan seg. And you see this make ID 20. So you want to put as the make ID 20. So we're good on that. So now you want to go down to engine so you can scroll all the way down to upgrade or list upgrade engine just follow me uh you want to put the original so what was our original 412 all right there's the this is the nxx motor swaps so you want to go ahead and put new record and you want to put 412 all right so now just follow me Four one two zero zero four because this is stock. This is the first engine swap, second engine swap, third engine swap. So this is going to be the fourth engine swap. So you want to put level four. Make sure you put the original ID as four one two. That's your original. So yeah, that's our four level engine ID is a twenty three sixteen for the Tony Seg one twenty three sixteen. Go ahead and write now because sometimes it messes up. Like you see, it didn't get the level or the engine ID. So you want to go ahead and put that again. And 2316. Let me just go ahead and write changes because it messes up sometimes. All right, see, now it saved it. So next is zero because this is in stock, is stock. This is a not a stock engine. This is a stock engine. Ours is not. Manufacturer ID is the one I told you to get earlier. It'll be a 20. Because for the Cohen said, put 20 price, you know me, 420. Let's go ahead and save it just in case it messes up. So you didn't get that price. Go ahead and put 420 again. Sometimes it doesn't like 420, so I'll put another zero. Right changes. All right, got it. So now you just want to follow me 0, .0. .0. I never change this 0, .0. .0. I just follow what was up there for the beginning of stock. You can always change it in the, in the long run. This is just a tutorial on motor swaps. So that's it. So now you want to write changes. Refresh. Refresh again. Everything's stuck. We'll go ahead and exit that out. Open up your, wherever your uh, horizon is, your horizon 3. Mine's in this folder. Go ahead and go ahead and media. DB. Go ahead and drag and drop. Place. Okay. That's it. Go ahead and minimize all that, and we'll go ahead and open up for Forza Horizon 3, and uh, we'll show you from there. Uh, I'll be releasing my DB file. It's got a lot of mods in it. Every Nissan has a Hellcat swap, for example, and there's other stuff. Uh, go ahead and continue. I usually go to the the debug menu. And go ahead and get rid of display overlays. It hides them all.
Just wait for this to load up real quick. Taking the sweet time, of course, when I'm doing a video. <laughs> Alright, this is a car I was messing with earlier, Mini Cooper. <laughs> Put the Conan Sega in it. Alright, so you want to go to My Cars, or buy the car. It's in My Cars because I have every single car. Go ahead and scroll over to Honda. 92 NSX. That's the other version I did, a modded one. NSX. Now we'll go ahead and go to upgrade. Once this is finished, there we go. Upgrade, custom, motor swap, and it should be there. There it is. It won't say the name because, you know, it's bugged sometimes, but that's it for sure because you can see by the horsepower. Um, we'll go ahead and put the wide body kit. Why not? All wheel drive, of course. Mod this real quick for you. Just go ahead and mod this all the way real quick. Just so I can kind of cruise around real quick. How wide these tires are, man. Oh, there's all right. Install. There's the motor 1341 horsepower. That's the Conan Zig horsepower. Just cruise around for a second. Let me go ahead and uh, take off traffic real quick. Go ahead and go to spawning, locking, force, force, manual, despawn all. Alright, we'll show you. Hey boss, there it is. The driver has got a bit of a following. It might be worth bringing them into your lineup. Welcome back, boss. There was a rumor about a bomb line that we haven't investigated yet. One and seg swap on an NSX. You? you can do any motor you want in basically any car. There it is, man. Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.